Okay, just one more story about my protest today, okay? And I don't even know for sure if this is, if this was her, but I'm gonna tell the story. So, I'm protesting and I'm walking peacefully with my sign on Main Street, North Main, and in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. And I hear this honking, honk, 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 honk. And so I turn and I'm holding my sign. And like, I see this woman like sideways turned and it looks like she's like getting out her phone or something, but you know, traffic is coming and she had to, to keep going and it happened so quick. But my first thought when I saw her and I don't know for sure if it was her or not, but that it was one of the moms who I happened to meet along this way, who also has the same custody judge as I do, she told me when I was in jail for wiretapping that this judge had me falsely charged with, which will be going to trial, possibly and most likely planned for at this point in April. Um, so anyways, um, when I was in jail, um, they came to get me out of my cell when I was in solitary confinement and medical 23 to 24 hours a day. And so every prisoner at Westmoreland County Prison um, has to get a drug and mental eval, which I passed both. So... They came to get me out of my cell, and this was after I was sicked from my jail cell, which you may have heard me discussing that, which I discussed on the stand in custody court, um, but I've discussed it in my videos as well. So my friend, Layla, who, it, and two, two cells down, because I was like scared, like, what are they going to do to me now? What are they going to do to me now? I was just thinking that, and Layla shouted out of her cell, um, bug, she calls me bug because wiretapping charges. Um, it's okay. You don't have to be worried. Like this is standard. Like it's fine. Like she's just going to talk to you and ask you some questions. So there I go off shackled and cuffed and, um, they take me to this room and I meet this woman who I think was who pulled over the side of the road today. So she is an attorney slash slash therapist and she works for the jail and she did give me a mental eval and we I did use that um just fine um my attorney my wonderful attorney who I said to someone today who knows her um <laughs> that I met on the street street corner today um and and we both agree she Emily is wonderful a, a wonderful human being um and a wonderful attorney So we, they were, my other, my, my criminal judges were not requesting any mental or drug eval of any sort. However, we did provide them with one. And that was from this lady who did it for me in jail. So this is a very professional, beautiful woman, brown hair, straight hair to here, glasses. I sit down at this desk while I'm a prisoner in jail and she starts she asked me a few questions and then I start telling her my story and she is just listening. She is just listening. I'm talking and I'm like, start telling her this whole story, like with my ex, this judge, losing my children, wiretapping charges. And she, at one point, and she's just sitting there listening, like very professional. And then at some point she just said, Jennifer, I'm going to stop you now. Because I just have to tell you that I believe every word you're saying because the same judge did the same thing to me. Now, that doesn't mean she got charged with wiretapping, but she did lose her daughters, okay? So, um, we talked some about her case. She did not want me to tell, and I said I would not, but, and I did prevent her, or present her same eval to my custody judge who refused to accept it. Go figure. But anyways, I don't know if that was her or not today, pulling over the car and honking. Um, 
but it looked like her. And when my probation officer in jail, Wayne, I think his name is, which he's super cool. He's like one of the coolest people that work at that jail. Um, he came back in to get me, to take me back to my cell. And he was joking and he said to her, so is she crazy? And she said in all seriousness, no, she is not. She has the same custody judge as I do. And it was just silence in the room. He hung his head low. And we all knew what that meant. 